Some people get really intimidated when it comes to um, the fact that they may have to tune their duck call. Um, they just freak out and it's really not that big of a deal. Um, you just got to know a few things of what you're doing and you know the, the main thing is the reed length. Um, if you've got a call that's too hard to blow then you shorten the reed. If you need it, if it's too easy and it's squeaking or you're blowing over, you need a longer reed. So if you think about it, the longer the reed, the more air it's going to take, you're going to get a little bit deeper sound. The shorter the reed, you're going to get a little higher pitch sound, but it's going to take less air. And you've, I say higher pitch or lower pitch is because you have to find what fits you. So if a shorter reed fits your air pressure, then it's probably not going to be as high pitch because you're putting that amount of air in there that's fit to that reed. Um, <clears throat> if you, you know, are overblowing it, then obviously you need a longer reed. So let's, let's show you. When you take the call apart, you got your um, insert and you got your barrel. So what you're going to do is, if you have your reed cut already, and this is the right size, and you've taken it out to clean it, or you're just replacing the cork, then you take the reed. I like to push it a little bit. No, that was a lot. <laughs> I like to push it a little bit just to see which way it bends and you put the bow up and when you put it in you just want to make sure that you have the reed all the way back in the cork slot. That's important because if it's sticking out a little bit it's not going to sound the same because that reed's not sealing off that back. Uh, you take your cork and let's say if you had a cork that wasn't cut already um, you take it I like to put it in my mouth just to get a little wet and I take my thumb and hold the reed in place so it doesn't move because what will happen is if you don't do that and you push this cork back in the cork slot, it could move the reed and it'll, it could crimp it in the back and that'll make it not sound right either. So um, just keep your thumb pressure on that reed. Make sure that when you're pulling this back, you have it uh, seated all the way and there's no gaps there. Take your razor knife, trim the cork on the edge and then you should be good to go. Your reed's set all the way back and your cork is seated all the way here. Always check that because you'll get kind of a flat sound if that cork is not seated in there. Uh, when it comes to the cork, we talked about actually tuning with the reed, making it easy or harder. And um, if you, when you put it in there, if it is too hard, then you want to trim some off the front. Uh, that way, <clears throat> you know, you keep your cork or you keep your reed all the way to the back. So trim some off the front to make it easier. Uh, why would you replace your cork? Um, cork is a natural, or not natural, but it, it absorbs, shrinks, and swells with moisture. And um, I like a cork call because the cork, to me, gives it a more natural sound. Uh, that's where I was going with natural. But the, the cork, after time, after it compresses and, and uh, absorbs moisture in there, it'll eventually get kind of flat where it doesn't um, absorb it anymore and doesn't swell and it won't keep it tight. So I like to change my cork. If I hunt, man, if I hunted every day, I, wouldn't, I would change it every couple weeks. Um, if, you're not, if you don't hunt that much, for sure change it at the beginning of every season. And like I said, what that does is it just keeps this reed in there tighter and it's going to get a crisper sound. So when you go to tuna call, it's really not that big of a deal. Just remember the reed length is what sets your, um, sets your air pressure. And the cork, if you're starting to sound flat, you may need to change the cork after a longer period and always make sure your reed is set all the way back in the cork slot and that your cork is seated. And it, if you have all those things right, then it shouldn't be a problem tuning your call.